Hi, this is John Trontville with the University of Maryland. I'm going to talk about tomato suckers today. This is a confusing topic for many gardeners. We've got three tomato plants in a raised bed here, and I just want to show you some of the parts of a typical tomato plant. We've got a main stem, and off of the main stem we have side branches which just have leaves. Now a third very important part of the tomato plant are the suckers and these are the shoots that grow at the point where a main stem and a side shoot join right in the axle here. These suckers will produce flowers and fruit so why would we want to remove them? Well on this particular plant the suckers that are growing down low on the plant will be shaded and they'll produce inferior fruit. By removing those suckers, we'll direct the plant's energy into all the other fruits so that they can ripen more quickly and perhaps even be larger in size. We can see on this tomato plant there are quite a few suckers, beginning right at the ground level with the ground sucker coming out right at the soil line. It's a very tender shoot. You can see based on its position, it's not going to get much sunlight. It's not going to produce good fruit. We can see that flower buds have already started to form, but we're going to go ahead and just pinch that sucker right off. Removing that sucker will not wound or damage the plant at all. And the next sucker from the bottom is right here. You can see this is a leaf stem. Here's the main stem. And we're going to go ahead and just pinch that sucker right out. So we can remove this sucker and actually plant it in the soil and if we keep it well watered it'll produce a new plant that'll produce late tomatoes for us. The next sucker we'll remove is right here. Here's another little one and again you can see it's growing right at the crotch where a main stem meets a leaf branch. We're going to remove that one. Now what I often like to do is to leave two uh, suckers below the first cluster of tomatoes that's forming. And you can see by these open flowers, this is the first cluster. This would be the next main stem below that cluster. And below this main stem is a sucker. We'll leave this one on the plant. And you can see we have about one foot of clear space below the sucker where we've removed the other suckers to give the plant more room, plenty of room to grow. We'll get good air circulation, good sunlight in on the plant, and lots of fruit.